<laughs> um, I'm here today to show you how to do something that Jeanette has included in the work for next week. Uh, they are called Mad Libs. And these Mad Libs are in English, but I will be trying my hardest to try to find some in Norwegian as well, so that you can do it all by yourself. Uh, but these ones in English look like this. This was the first one, my, the first Montessori story. And the second one was called Africa. And if you see here, my daughter has uh, done this today. So a Mad Lib is a funny story that's made up of words that you choose yourself based on grammar. So let's say that you are going to do this one. It's asking you for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nouns. Do you remember what a noun was? A noun is something, something. It's just a thing. So anything, it could be uh, mom, potato, garbage, cat, anything. It could, be a th it could be Norway, anything. So those are nouns. And then the second one was verb. Verb ending with ed and verb ending with ing. So if you think verb, same as Norwegian, it's something that we do. So played, kicked, licked, sl uh, slept, anything that ends with an ed, something that we've done before. And the second one was ing, so that means something that we're doing now, talking, laughing, playing, hiking. Those are things we're doing now. The last one on this one are adjectives. An adjective is also the same in the region. You see that the shape is the same, two triangles. So if a noun is something, is something, <laughs> I keep on thinking to add more. <laughs> if a noun is a thing, then an adjective is saying what kind of thing. So if I say potato, brown, bumpy, maybe old. If it's old, then maybe it's stinky. Um, maybe it's tasty, a tasty potato. So what you do is you write down all of the words that you want here first, and then you go to this page and you write in the words that you filled out on the other page and then you make a funny story with it. So Linnea did the one called Africa today. So this was a little bit harder. This has prepositions. And remember prepositions are words that bring two parts of the sentence together. So if we say uh, that they were words like in or on or between or under, that's why it's a bridge. She also has nouns and adjectives and verbs. And she also has adverbs. Remember adverbs are the same shape as a verb, so they go together. So an adverb tells you how are you doing that verb. So slowly, quickly, uh, happily, she wrote funny. Uh, so she used this one for the one that's called Africa. And then she wrote it on her page and I will read it to you. It says, Africa. Africa is a very large continent. It is between the continent of glasses. Africa is home to many famous landmarks. Here are two. The cold butt of reindeer, which is wet years old. The puffy book of ice cream, which is light years old. If I had to jump one to visit it, it would be the trees because of the light green bubbles. While I was there, I would fart funny. Good luck, and I will try to make some more for you.